Planning effectively is the key to achieving a successful implementation. In this series of design and implementation tutorials, you'll learn design best practices and how to troubleshoot, analyze, and use the provided system monitoring tools to improve performance and customer experience. In this tutorial, you'll review best practices in setting up dimensions. You set up planning applications to include the appropriate structure for your business process. This structure includes your application's dimensionality, the key component that reflects your business model. For example, if your sales department has a yearly revenue plan and your finance department has a P&L plan, you can define two cubes, revenue and P&L. Then, determine which dimensions and members are shared between cubes or exclusive to each of these cubes. Account, Entity, Version, Scenario, Years and Period are standard dimensions in your application. If you plan in multiple currencies, your application will include the currency dimension. You can use custom dimensions to further categorize your data and define your own values. Best practice is to include 12 or fewer dimensions in a single cube. You can combine two or more unrelated dimensions into a single dimension to avoid interdimensional irrelevance. For example, instead of having three separate dimensions for job, equipment, and material, we added them as members in a single resource class dimension. You can also use alternate hierarchies to share members under different parents for top-down allocation or reporting. You can use attribute dimensions for reporting purposes. For example, a program attribute dimension was defined and associated with a project dimension. The program attribute dimension also contains a hierarchy of members where the top-level members are automatically aggregated. When planning for projects, a leaf-level member in the program attribute dimension is associated with a newly created project. You can then use the attribute dimension to filter projects by program and reports. When the relationship between your dimensions are expected to change in time, you can use smart lists and map to ASO dimensions for reporting. For example, we have a skill set smart list that we would like to report on. To enable this, a skill set dimension in the ASO cube was created and mapped to the skill set smart list. Data is moved from the BSO cube to the ASO cube. The data map can be run as a batch process, or you can implement smart push. I can now create reports using the ASO cube, showing labor requirements by skill set across projects. In a similar manner, you can map smart lists to a dimension in another BSO cube. The employee and job smart lists in the projects cube are mapped to dimensions in the workforce cube. For a list of recommendations on setting up dimensions, navigate to the Academy. Go to Design Best Practices. Then, on the left pane, under Design Your Application, click Design Walkthrough. Now let's talk about the typical dimension design and identification process. Your company's dimension structure is based on your planning processes. One of the key resources in identifying your requirements is your end-user community. Which departments and individual contributors are involved in the planning process? What end-user reports are used to analyze data and influence your planning process? Do you need to combine data from several groups to obtain specific totals? First, identify unique planning processes based on requirement analysis. This will help identify the type of application that is required by your organization. For example, your company may need to plan for marketing expenses, revenue from sales, overhead, capital assets, cash flow, workforce, and so on. Next, focus on each planning process. Determine what dimensions are required for each business process. For example, when planning for revenue, you may need custom dimensions such as product, product segment, market, channel, and customer. In the same context, determine how these dimensions are related to each other. Is it a one-to-many relationship or a many-to-many -many relationship? Do you have dimensions that are completely independent of each other? 
Then, determine which dimensions are planning dimensions and which ones are reporting dimensions. In this example, product, market, and channel are planning dimensions, while product segment and customer are reporting dimensions in the revenue planning process. Lastly, map the company's planning process to the enterprise planning business processes. Marketing planning, revenue sales planning, and cash flow planning can be configured in financials, while planning for overhead can be managed using financials and custom cubes. Oracle can only provide general guidelines about how to design your application and artifacts to ensure reasonable performance. Oracle will not specify precise value ranges for artifacts and operations. You can use the application monitor to identify and resolve design flaws before an application is placed in production and on an ongoing basis as the application evolves with new members and data is added to the application. The pie graph shows the distribution of artifacts in the application. Let's drill into dimensions. Design and performance are analyzed in three levels. Good, fair, and poor. The content area lists the artifacts, displays its status, and, if applicable, includes a description of its issue. Let's take a look at cube structure. Notice that not all of my cubes are rated good. Cubes are analyzed on their outline order, number of dimensions, number of existing blocks, block size, and block density. For Plan 1, the application monitor recommends optimizing the outline order. Properly ordering the dimensions can improve performance. Clicking the Outline Order link opens performance settings. You can then edit the dimension outline and dimension sparsity for each of the cubes in your application. The application monitor evaluates your application and artifacts based on the user and administrator selects. This helps identify potential problems that may occur at runtime given the individual user's variables and security access as part of the analysis. In this tutorial, you reviewed best practices in setting up dimensions. To see the next video in this series, click the link on the right. To learn more, visit cloud.oracle.com.